An individual with a disability is defined by the Americans with Disabilities Act as a person that has a mental or physical impairment that substantially limits one or more major life activities. But does this mean they're disadvantaged forever because of a diagnosis? No. Although individuals with a physical or mental impairment are labeled as having a disability, they still have the ability to live a long and successful life. They may find success as a child, while in school, or while in the workforce. I'm Ellie. And I'm Delaney. And this is Ability. a local elementary school, Channel Lakes Elementary, where they held their annual event, the Special Olympics. We spoke with Brandy Gogol, the head coordinator of this event. It all started back many years ago, um, well over six years ago, and we held our first event with only 12 Olympians. This year we hosted over 87 Special Olympians. I think they feel included because in the Olympics there's students that their friends that they see on the sidewalk or in the lunchroom, so now they have a new sense of belonging. I understand word proud is probably used quite a bit, but I think it really genuinely underlines the tone that these friends feel. They never once feel different. The Special Olympics is a place for opportunity and inclusion. It was fantastic. Super fun. Amazing. I love it. It is like the best place ever. I think it's just a wonderful thing and I really enjoy being a part of it. Once they become teenagers, these students are able to enroll in special needs programs in high schools across the country. Here at Winter Haven High School, we have our very own special needs program with multiple classes dedicated to educating those with special needs and giving them opportunities for success. The ESE program actually stands for Exceptional Student Education and we have some students who just need a little help every day from a teacher. I was riding very slow and then the teacher would try to keep me speed up with other kids so I guess that's why they put me in a class like this but all of, of the other that's I'm fine. For me um, I go to a classroom where it's like we do normal work like everyone else do. I may be in a class called ESE but at least I still get to go out and do electives and stuff like band and and I go to the cafeteria and sing. High school prepares students for beyond school and further into the workforce. Companies like public supermarkets are welcoming to those with special needs. Not only do they participate in Special Olympics fundraising, but they also hire many employees with disabilities. Every time I walk in, one of my coworkers, Ellen Allenson, he has Down syndrome. He just always makes sure, what's up, buddy? And he gives you a big hug. I have public seven years ago. I really love public. I see my friend, so he would help me out. A car, I'm like, I say, and um, walk hard, smile, and have fun. Ellis has been rewarded heavily for his hard work at Publix. His favorite sports teams gifted him special access and recognized him at games. Those, those day, um, like a, like a, a sign, all of that. So, uh, cool. They a bat. Yeah, sign and we're four, two, three, four, yeah, <laughs> nine. So you're good. And he's the sweetest kid, and he's been through so much, but he's still given these opportunities by Publix to overcome those things that he's been through. And it just everyone loves to see him, and he's just the sunshine. There's many ways that people with disabilities can find success. When you think of people with disabilities, you shouldn't focus on what they can't accomplish. You shouldn't focus on the impossible, the struggle the challenges they face. While it's important to recognize what they go through, it's more important to focus on their ability to overcome their circumstances. At any point in their life, people with disabilities can find success in whatever they put their mind to. If they can find success, why can't you? <laughs>